something bigger mm. than what they eventually ended up with. And here, as we said, after being four wickets down for nothing almost, they fought really hard, 125 for five. And the maiden 50 for the captain, Rizwan. P.P. Rizwan, he take over the captaincy. Goes down the wicket, doesn't get a hold of it. Quick run taken, again alert to the fact the ball's travelling a little slower due to that mistiming. Good running once again. The other side of the coin, just uh, before you put your other thoughts, is the Bangladeshi perspective. They will be much happier today with a more emphatic, convincing win. Well, this is Rizwan for you. Well, an excellent knock. Some lovely shots on both sides of the pitch. The drives were good, the pulls were good, the horizontal shots, and interestingly, uh, he was Shami made captain at the 11th hour, just before this qualifying round. The Asia Cup qualifying round, that is. And I don't think he expected it, but he was just given the captaincy in the 11th hour, and then suddenly did come in and... I understand uh, he hasn't played 10 months prior to that, uh, being asked to uh, lead the country. That's how he scored his runs. A lot of runs square of the wicket on either side, 10 and 18. And uh, as you can see that he's using uh, the third man area pretty well. And we have had a bit of injury in the middle uh, with the Nurul Hassan Sohan just get, being hit awkwardly when he tries to stop the ball in the previous delivery. Uh, he's getting a bit, a bit of treatment in the middle. I hope it's nothing serious. He seems to be all right. Yeah, I think he's all right, thankfully. I don't think he wants to go off with just four balls to go. But it's important that Bangladesh ensures that every injury is kind of prevented and, and players are protected. And he has had a share of injuries, just coming out of one. So this is a look at that one. Just dying in front of him, I think. Yeah, and he's trying to just oh. grab at it, snatch at it. And in the process, I think it's the tip of the fingers that hurt. The, most of the unprotected parts, some areas can really hurt you. But you see, he's still wringing his fingers. It is a pretty painful area, I can tell you, where you don't really have that protection. As you well, we could keep in gloves, could have all the protection in the world, but still there are certain points, certain yeah. points which are not, and particularly at the edge of the fingers, mm -hmm. the end of your fingers, the thumbs, and, and, and also, just just under, just around the wrist, it's, it's pretty painful. We've got four more deliveries in this match, and uh, the end of what has been quite an interesting series. Uh, the Emirates Cricket Board will be pretty happy with what's transpired. <laughs> Tries the scoop, back to it, and gets four runs. Well, very That's ambitious, good. very, very ambitious, and I also thought that it was a bit premeditated. He was moving around on the offside, and he was he was looking to outthink the bowler. I think the anticipation was very good. You know, most of the scoops or the reverses normally are premeditated, but it's how how lucky you are on occasions because he looked to be in a very awkward position, but still a bit of bat or was it gloves? I don't know. A bit of bat, the face of it. So that, that's well done eventually. T20 cricket has thrown up some amazing <laughs> stroke play. Just simply amazing stroke play. Poachers of 30 years ago might be turning in their grave. <laughs> Watching if, shots if like this. If they're alive, they're pulling out their hair. Oh, of course. Because, yeah, if they're alive, I'm saying, but I'm really talking about the ones yeah. of yesteryear. Oh, I didn't know where that was going to go. Got the inside part of the bat. Trickles away, thinking of a second run. Besides, not too wisely. Well, cricket's got interesting. Cricket has got more attractive with the shots like this. But then, it was a game where coaches would tell you, oh, it's a sideways game. You'll bat sideways, you'll bowl sideways, and you'll feel sideways. That, is, that used to be the month of coaches of, say, the pre-80 era or pre-90 era. Now it's full face. It is now. Look 80. at his eyes. You, you just see it and hit it. it <laughs> yeah. is, they call it the hand-eye coordination. Yeah, it's sad in terms for the bowlers on occasions because the shorter version... Oh dear, as I said, <laughs> the bowlers can 
get a little annoyed with themselves and try something different in the process, lose their line. Yeah, it's tilted. I don't know if you agreed to to batters, a lot, lot of things in the shorter version, not, not obviously the test match. Yeah, because, you know, you rather come and watch sixers than wickets. So that, that appears to be the theory because T20 cricket is about entertainment. And that's how the game gets globalized. It's about entertainment. So I still feel that if you get a, a good man out... Oh, that's for a man, you know, that, that's for someone who understands the game. So you think the people coming here not no, understanding... No, no, not here, but well, the, the global stage, they, they come out for, for the entertainment. entertainment value. Okay. No, no, Tuskin. What's happening? Just, what is he trying to do? <laughs> well, he's trying to slow it down. Bowler, whitish Yorker in the process. Lost it. It's, it's sweating profusely. It is very muggy and is losing the grip on the ball. 35 of two balls. Finish it off, I mean, What are you trying to do? <laughs> Just bowl straight. Let them get a few runs. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't matter. Two sixes would, would harm you. Well, it might harm your bowling figures, but not the result. Yeah, he'd like another wicket. He's, he's got a wicket, one for 20. Decent enough figures. He started off with a bang. Bowled really with a lot of pace. Oh, tries it, chicken. I, I think he might not get that, yeah. Because he was moving across to the offside, despite the fact that it crossed that guideline. But the batsman was moving to the offside. Yeah. Empire thinks, okay, Correct. that's the fair enough. The line didn't move. Yep, yep. So that's all right. That's a relief. So just one more <laughs> ball to go. <laughs> Last ball of the innings coming up. Bangladesh on the verge of a very convincing win. They struggled to win in the first game. And uh, they've come back to their normal self. You'd expect this on paper, much the stronger side. Gets a bit of bat on it. It's... Uh, into the deep they get a couple of runs and here it comes and that is it the 20 overs of the innings for the united arab emirates has been completed they reach 137 for the loss of five